Cooper Competition is the most ambitious youth competition in the world. This is really about seeking the best talent anywhere and bringing these young people to campus so they can compete against one another, but most importantly, learn from one another. It's really about cultivating art, educating these terrific students, and bringing to the world on a continuous basis the best talent uh, that it has to offer. At the end of this competition, we will see the final three artists who will in fact play with the Cleveland Orchestra. The level of, of competitors for all 24 is really ex ex exceptionally high. Uh, it's quite amazing. I think all the judges were very amazed at the level the, even of the younger ones, technically and musically. Every one of these young artists has as much chance as any other to be one of the stars of the next generation. At, at this age, it's astonishing how much they've accomplished. The journey is to develop the skills uh, to be able to communicate uh, the passion of music, the message of music, the joy of music, the sorrow of music, if you will, the whole gamut uh, through this medium, and in specific through the violin medium, um, to an audience. A violin right now is experiencing a fantastic surge in its craftsmanship. I think that Dorothy DeLay said it 10 years ago, and she was right, that violin playing today is better than it has ever been in the history of violin playing. Uh, the level of, that you have to be at to be average is now extraordinarily high. And of course the music hasn't gotten any more difficult, so we're seeing performances that are it's vastly different and vastly at a much, so much higher level. You can hear it in orchestras and you hear it even in the, in the soloists that are, that are playing. process of going from 24 to 10 was very, very difficult because there were so many others that could have gotten into that round. It's, it's a hard job, believe me, it's not easy to take 14 people uh, away from the competition. When we listen, we listen all with different ears. So I think we were very close in our votes, but of course, you know, not everybody voted the same and some were probably had a little, some surprises. What we're looking for is someone who is ready to um, pop out of the cocoon, if you will. We are judging mostly the beauty of the sound, the uh, intonation. They have to have developed a certain uh, amount of communication skills, and that is, after all, what this is all about. It's communicating. It's communicating through music. What I particularly look for is a completely clean and strong technique. I love elegance in music. I love people who are very refined. I love people who have spirit. Some are on their way. Um, some are just beginning. And others I have really reached an extraordinary uh, level of communication already. 我想我觉得我作为评委来说The violin is a way of really expressing myself and uh, you can sing with it, you can cry with it. It's really a form of communication with other people without using words and I think that's very special in so many ways. The more you get into it, the bigger the world becomes of music. And I feel like people have a really restricted image of what classical music is, and oh, it's so confining. But when you when you devote your whole life to it, you know, it's, there's just so much to explore.
I didn't expect to make it into the finals, or even this far, I didn't expect to make it this far, <laughs> I would say that, because I knew so many of the kids that were coming, and I knew how well they played, and I knew what level this competition was at. Yeah, when I walk on stage, it's a very happy feeling. It's kind of like you have to let go of all your problems and then just um, live the moment of things. It feels like I'm flying. I think it's nice to have a competition here because it's the town is relaxing and um, it kind of makes the contestants feel a little more relaxed and rather than just really intense and competitive. <laughs> I don't think anyone can say that they don't have any form of stage fright. Um, we all feel some sort of anxiety before we play, but something that I've learned is to really just go on stage and enjoy it. I've had a lot of fun with this competition. I mean, it is a competition, so we all feel some tension, but definitely we're all friends and family here. It's not uh, unusual for a major competition like this, playing with a major orchestra, that a career can be launched, and I suspect that one will be at the conclusion of this competition. Uh, this competition tonight is quite extraordinary because it allows young violinists from around the world to come together and really compete, and the opportunity to play with this orchestra is rare and extraordinary. It was definitely exciting, you know, I felt, all of a sudden it, it hit me, you know, I'm playing with Cleveland Orchestra in Severance Hall. <laughs> That's definitely a dream come true. It's pretty amazing. I still can't really believe that I just played with Cleveland Orchestra at this wonderful hall. What was going on in my mind when I first came on stage was just to cherish what you have now because uh, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and um, just have fun. I learned a lot from this competition and I think I'll take home a lot of what the jury has told me and just a great performance opportunity to play in Severance Hall with the Cleveland Symphony Orchestra. It's a, it's a big event in my life. The winner of the 2011 Cooper Competition, <laughs> Serena Wong. This has an, an area-wide impact as well as a national impact and I dare say an international impact since so many of the people have come from abroad. So. Bravo to you, Oberlin, uh, for bringing this competition and for bringing these young people here and for providing this to your community.